The next feature is kind of our main feature. Uh, it's the most uh, wanted and most important uh, feature in 240 <clears throat> because most users um, typically don't have access to managed indicators. They would like to go and play around with the data and create their own calculations, but uh, typically they can't. So in 240, <clears throat> with this new feature, uh, they can go and manage what we call kind of their own personal indicators. So I can show you how you can do this. You can go to the uh, data visualizer app. And the good thing here is you don't have to go to some other app to configure your custom calculations and then go back to data visualizer to uh, visualize them. You can actually create and manage your custom calculations right here in data visualizer. So all you need to do is to go to the data selector. Um, you can see that we've added calculations as one of the uh, types in the filter. Um, and to create a new one, you can just click this button here, and that takes you to this new uh, dialog. So in this uh, dialog, you will find the data elements. You can uh, use uh, data, data elements in your formulas. You can filter by uh, name. You can filter by group. And you can choose between the totals and the breakdowns, just like you can in the normal uh, data selector. So uh, to add a data element to the formula, you can either uh, double click like that. You see it gets added to the formula section over here. Or you can just drag and drop the data element straight into the formula. And you can see we're using the same drag and drop system as we do in the line listing app. So it's very easy to just position the item straight into the formula. Now, this doesn't look like a valid formula to me, so we can go and check that by clicking here, and you see you get some feedback on what might be wrong here. So consecutive data elements means we need to uh, add some operators. <clears throat> and this works the same way, so you can double click or you can just drag it straight into the formula. So I'm going to add a couple of pluses here, and this looks better. You don't have to click uh, the check formula every, manually every time. You can just go in and save the calculation, and it will run the validation for you. So now we just need to give it a name. I'm going to call it ANC one, two, and three, and I'm going to say uh, save the calculation. And congratulations, we have made our first uh, custom calculation. <clears throat> so a custom calculation is a data item just like all of the others. So you can uh, use it in any visualization type, and we're now ready to just click update to see our numbers. So if you want to display it in a pivot table, for instance, you can just go in and select pivot table and, and click update here. Now, <clears throat> if you want to edit your calculation, you can uh, go back to the data selector. You can click this edit icon and that takes you back to the uh, formula builder and you can go and change your formula. Let's say we want to uh, multiply it with some numbers. So I'm gonna drag in the number uh, item which allows you to enter a fixed number. So now uh, we can check the formula. We want to multiply the whole thing by two, and we're going to update the name a little bit here, and I'm going to save it. Now, we call these on-the-fly calculations. So when, when I click update, you should be able to see uh, the new values. So I click update, and you see these values uh, right there. <clears throat> so in terms of sharing, um, Custom calculations are private by default. So in this section here, uh, you only see your own calculations. Other users will only see their, their own calculations. They will not see your calculations. However, if you want to share your calculation, um, you can do so. And you just put it in the visualization. You share the visualization with someone else. And when they go and open that visualization, they will see what we see here. 